what a difference a day makes. Look at that, 60 degrees. And I'm finally got back to clearing some lands. Got new water from the spring yesterday. And I'm gonna take advantage of this and get a shower in while I can. So the sun has been shining and I am very happy about that. My batteries are starting to get charged back up again. They were really taking a beating with so many cloudy days. So not much happened on getting batteries charged up. But I am so happy about this. I actually got a bunch of work done on the land today. Got stuff, a bunch of stuff bucked up. And got a lot of stuff cleaned up. And I'm starting to collect uh, some wood for building. I don't know what. I mean, I might use it for like building a woodshed and things like that. But today I'm going to get a shower done. And this shower system is actually really good for if you're overlanding, if you're camping. Yeah, off-grid, yeah. Long-term off-grid, I don't know about. It kind of... I mean, you got to heat the water up in a pot and mix it up. And it's, so it's... And you got to charge the, uh, the shower unit. I'll show you that in a second. So soon I'm going to have the new propane fired hot water heater going so that's going to be great so I just wanted to show you this while I still have it set up and also I wanted to say thank you to the people who have been subscribing to me I'm now up to 50 subscribers I wasn't really trying for that I was really just making videos for family and friends but now I found enough encouragement to keep going and I'm going to start trying to grow the channel a little bit see how that goes so if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It gives me the encouragement to continue making more videos. I'm not going to be monetized for a couple of years, I'm sure. But at least it's going to help keep me encouraged to keep going. So let me show you what I got with the shower. So it is a pretty simple setup. This, this shower um, tent is actually really good. This is King Camp Mara Maris USA. But the external frame, I had one with the exter uh, internal frame originally and did not last very long. This thing has been holding up through the wind and everything, so it's been really good. It does have a bottom, and I built a little platform to stand on so I'm not standing in the water when I'm taking a shower. And I keep the bucket in here. I put some cold water in the bucket. I'm heating water up on the stove right now. But this is This is the unit. And this is, I'm going to put a link down below for the Amazon. It is Ivation, I-V-A-T-I-O-N. It charges on a USB. And this is the second one I've had. These things are really good. The first one I had sit so long, the battery um, wouldn't take a charge anymore. So I bought another one. And this one, I actually saved this nozzle off of the old one. The new one came with one that did not have a uh, on and off. So it would just turn on. And this thing actually goes through quite a bit of water. So I used the, the uh, components that came with this one. I put the old nozzle on there and get rid of the new one. Uh, this is really just nothing more than a sprayer that you would have on the kitchen sink. Just a really cheap one at that. So let me show you how it goes. Got the water up to boiling, and there you, as you saw, I already have water in there. You gotta kind of mix it, and that's way too hot. It really only takes, I don't know what I got in there, maybe a gallon and a half. Yeah, that's too hot. And it's still a big chunk of ice in this container from, yeah, it's perfect now. That is good. So, Unit simple, uh, simple on off. This is where the USB plugs into there. And the on off switch. And that actually has a pretty good flow to it. And that's a beauty. She's a beauty. All right, so I think you can see how that give a uh, pretty good shower there, and it really does. It takes about two and a half gallons because you don't get all the water out of the bottom. Um, 
but for camping, overlanding, stuff like that, where you're taking a shower maybe once over, you know, three days or so, it's not too bad. But for an every other few day thing, it kind of gets old boiling the water and going through all that. So the next propane system, which I'm going to be hooking up here in the next couple of days, I'll walk through that step by step with you and show exactly how that sets up. All right, you guys have a good day.